I've always thought I'd start paying attention to AI and dev tooling when it became part of my existing workflow rather than some gimmicky thing that breaks my flow and I have to go track down on a website. And that's what Warp's new AI tooling promises. You have a question about an error? Just ask Warp AI by selecting the block and pressing a keyboard shortcut. Your hands never have to leave the keyboard. Working with a new CLI? Ask Warp AI how to get started, to summarize your next steps, and more. It's all fully interactive, anonymous, and free for limited use. In this video, we'll walk through several realistic examples of where Warp AI vastly improves the dev experience without breaking your flow, and then briefly touch on privacy and pricing. Let's jump in. Warp AI is a conversation-based model, meaning you can go beyond simple command helps. It's particularly good at diagnosing error messages and suggesting fixes, explaining terminal output and reverse engineering commands, helping you navigate CLIs that are new to you, and documenting commands and terminal interactions. Let's start with error handling and suggestions. Let's say I'm trying to clone some super secret repo, and when I do that, I get an error message. Now I can always copy this into Google or Stack Overflow and kind of figure out the next best steps, but what I can do now is just come over here and highlight a section, right click and ask Warp AI. I can also come over here and do it for the entire block and ask Warp AI here. Either way, it actually inserts my command right here, and then I have to hit return just to confirm that I really do want to run this, and then it will generate an answer for me, giving me step-by-step -step solutions to this. You can see that not only do these solutions walk me through what I need to do, but they also explain what the problem is and some different steps for fixing it. As another example of error handling, let's say you're writing at some Next.js app, and you can see I've just got a very simple app here, but let's say I have some API endpoint that I forget some quotation mark on. Well, normally you'd get a syntax error here and also over here in your terminal. Well, I can now just hit command in the up arrow to grab the last selected block, and then I can hit control, shift, and spacebar to open this up in Warp AI. Of course, you can right click just like I showed you a moment ago, but when you actually run this, you get back a response from Warp AI that details the exact thing that you did wrong and actually even gives you a block where you can copy it and directly fix and update this right here. All right, and then it would fix it for you. So those are two examples of just really simply how that new error handling takes care of a lot of the Googling and stack overflowing you would do by just allowing you to actually see it directly in your terminal without even taking your hand off the keyboard. Next, let's talk about reverse engineering commands. Let's say you have an error, you think you tracked down the solution, and you even found an answer on Stack Overflow that seems to match exactly the problem you're having. What you can do is just select all of this, jump over to warp and go ahead and open up the sidebar with control and the space bar. You can also come up here and click here as well, that will open it. But then what you can do is just say, explain this code to me. Then I'm gonna add this just in little code blocks here and then run it and it will actually walk me through the exact thing that's going on here, what's happening, what each step does. Now, if I want a more thorough answer, I could say something like explain this to me more fully and then it will actually walk me through each individual line. If I have more questions, again, I can just select a section now, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is you can actually insert the code blocks directly back into your terminal. Now, in this case, that wouldn't be very useful, but you can see how something like this would be depending on kind of what answers you're getting back. Now, in addition to starting with an answer you already have, like something from Stack Overflow, you can also simply start with a command itself. Now, for some time now, Warp has actually had AI command search. You can do this just with this pound sign, and then you can type whatever you want. So let's say I did something like uh, go back to commits and I'm just gonna run a command search to see, hey, what does this do? Now, normally you can insert this, and if I were to go ahead and hit command and enter, I can then hover over each of these things just to see exactly what they do. However, I might want more explanation, and you may have seen just a second ago that if I go back to commits, I actually get now a warp AI thing right here. Explain to me how this works or show examples. So let me go ahead and just click this, and again, I have to come over here and confirm just to make sure that that's exactly what I wanna do, that I wanna run this. And then it now actually walks me through each individual step. Now under the hood, Warp AI uses ChatGPT API and OpenAPI, and the AI command search uses the Codex engine, so they are technically different. But the bigger difference here is that it's conversational. So that means I can come over here and say, show me some examples. And once I see some examples, I may remember, isn't there like a soft reset as well? So I could just say like difference between get hard and soft reset. I get paragraphs explaining the exact differences, and then I actually get examples where it's saying, hey, here's exactly what would happen to each of those different branches, depending on which uh, flag you used. So reverse engineering commands is super helpful in Warp AI. You can really understand what you're doing rather than just running some random command that you find online or that you're told to run. All right, let me go ahead and clear this out. And then the next thing I want to talk about is CLI helps. 
let's say you're trying to connect with some AWS instance and you've done it before, but maybe it's just been a little bit of time since you've looked it up exactly how to do it. Well, you can go search the documentation or you can just ask Warp AI to help you. So I could say something like uh, SSH into a AWS EC2 instance. And now it'll actually walk me through those steps. So perhaps I take these instructions or I ask for more examples and I'm connected. Now at that point, I might wanna list uh, all the objects in a AWS bucket, all right? Well, I can just ask them how to do that rather than go looking this up in some documentation. Well, now I've got the objects listed, but now let's say I want to extract just the keys and the object URLs of the objects returned. Well, I can just ask Warp AI. It'll tell me exactly how to do that. And again, this is all from the comfort of my terminal. Now, once again, I can just insert this code directly into the terminal input. Now, anytime if I want more info, I can just ask for links to the documentation. And here it'll give it to me. I can click this, open it up, and just double check that this is exactly what I want to do. All right, next, let's say I want to connect to a GCP Cloud SQL instance. Well, I can just simply ask Warp AI. So here it gives me some basic steps, but perhaps I want this to be a script. So I could just say, like, write this as a shell script or something like that. All right, and just like that, I actually get a shell script telling me exactly how to connect. Now I could switch this up and say like now in node. And again, this is conversational. So just as I have questions, I can continue to ask them. Now, finally, let's talk about producing documentation. I'll go ahead and clear this out. And perhaps I just say, hey, I think I want to do like git bisect, but I don't exactly remember what it does. So I could just ask it, what does git bisect do? All right, that's useful enough, but now I want some examples. So now I get actual examples where I get to see how to mark different commits as either bad or good. Now, Warp AI will help you with documentation for anything, not just like Git commands. So let's say I'm using the Firebase CLI and I don't exactly remember how to set a key for production. So I can just ask Warp AI, how do I set a key for production in the Firebase CLI? Finally, let's say I'm converting a React project from JavaScript to TypeScript. And I just want to mass rename all of my files to TSX and then kind of deal with the errors as I see them. Now, again, I can go search for this, or I could just ask Warp AI to tell me how to rename all the JSX files to TSX files and to update all the import statements, all right? And I want to do that in my current directory. And now I get a three-step plan for exactly how to do that, along with explanations for each individual step. Now, at the end, I could just say, like, can you link to documentation? And now I've got links if I want to go read more and just really make sure that this is exactly what I want to do. The power of Warp AI is it fits into your existing workflow without breaking your flow. Just hit control and spacebar and start typing or select a block, hit control shift and spacebar, and then enter to run your command. Now I promised to talk a little bit about privacy and about pricing. So let's do that next. Now when it comes to privacy, there are three things you need to think about. First of all, don't type anything into it that you wouldn't type into chat GPT because it's using that API. But technically it's more private than using chat GPT because your data is not used to train the model. That's how Warp has set this up. And then finally, you need to remember that Warp never stores or looks at your terminal input or your output data. So if you insert some command back into your terminal input, remember Warp never sees that. And finally, let's talk about pricing. Warp AI is free to use during the beta period and includes a limit of 100 requests per user per day. In the future, Warp AI features will be limited on a free plan and have more generous usage limits on paid plan tiers. Now, for more help seeing how Warp AI works, along with privacy and pricing details, see the landing page that will be linked below in the description. Artificial intelligence should be intelligent enough to stay out of the way when you don't need it and fit into your existing workflows when you do. Of course, AI is no replacement for critical thinking, but Warp AI proves it can make you faster, provide contextual boosts, give you confidence in your decisions, and help you quickly debug errors and explore CLIs and tooling. Go to warp.dev to try it for free today.